Hey Naturally Glam fam, it's your girl Jana, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Straight From Eating product line from Cream of Nature. So recently, I was gifted these products at an event, and I decided to go ahead and try them and share the results with you guys just to let you know my thoughts on the product. So what comes with the Straight From Eating line that I received was the conditioner, shampoo and then a leave-in conditioner so let's start with what the product says that it's going to do so all three of the products in the line contain coconut avocado and olive oils that's the natural oil infused part and so the shampoo claims to cleanse moisturize and detangle for healthy hair and it is sulfate free for all hair types now i use this to shampoo my hair after I had shampooed with my medicated shampoo for my scalp, which is not a sulfate free shampoo, it's medicated, it's just kind of generic and it very much so dries out my hair. So I always, even after shampooing with that shampoo, which I try to concentrate only on my scalp with that. When I rinse it out though, of course the sulfate, it runs through my hair as I'm rinsing it out so it does tend to strip and kind of dry my hair out so I usually will still follow it with a moisturizing shampoo and this shampoo is supposed to be a hydrating shampoo I thought it was okay I didn't dislike it I didn't feel like my hair was like extremely hydrated I didn't feel like I was able to like start detangling my hair like with some other shampoos where I'm able to you know start working my fingers through it. I did not get that with this shampoo but I didn't feel like it made it worse than it was before. I felt like it did add some moisture back into my hair after the very drying medicated shampoo. It was okay. It wasn't bad. That's my thoughts on the shampoo. Okay, next. The hydrating conditioner. This is supposed to deeply moisturize, strengthen, and help repair for healthy hair. This is also sulfate free and for all hair types. Now, this conditioner, I actually thought was pretty decent, you know, in the grand scheme of things. I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't anything to like rant and rave about. One thing that I didn't like about it was that the instructions say that you have to leave it on your hair for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out thoroughly. Most traditional conditioners, you only have to leave in for three to five minutes. And so I felt like if I can have a conditioner that I can leave in and half the time that I have to leave this in and I'm able to move faster through the process, then I'm gonna pick that conditioner up before I pick this one up. I did leave it on for 10 minutes. It didn't say anything about putting on a cap sitting under heat none of that and so you guys know when i do product reviews i like to use the product as it is instructed and then do a review now so if i had maybe put on a cap and set under a steamer or set on a hooded dryer heated towel etc would that have given me different result maybe it would have but that was not in the instructions from the manufacturer so you know to me that's something extra that i have to do to make the product work so like i said i just felt like waiting 10 to 15 minutes if you're doing your hair in the shower and you have to literally five minutes is long enough but waiting 10 minutes 15 minutes just for the conditioner to work i felt like that was way too long and then after the 10 minutes um it wasn't a super ton of slip as you guys can see in the footage you know i i had to really work to finger detangle first and then go through with the comb and it wasn't as easy as i thought it was going to be but eventually it did start to um smooth through my hair and i was able to detangle it with no problem but i really had to go in and take my time with my fingers first and really take my time with my detangling tool before i was able to really detangle lastly was the leave-in conditioner now this is supposed to detangle condition and protect protect for healthy hair this is also sulfate free and this also says it's for all hair types now this is a spray leave-in conditioner which i personally am not a huge fan of spray leave-in conditioners because i feel like they just are not heavy enough for my hair my hair is 
medium um, porosity now with the little bit of color that I do have it's even higher porosity and I already have very thick hair and I have a lot of hair so spray leave-in conditioners don't tend to work on my hair they're just too light as far as you know giving me more slip and more detangling ability so the same proved true with this even though I shook it up as it said and sprayed it on I felt like I was spraying to the guys like spray 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 just to get my hair coated and while it did add some moisture definitely I, I saw sheen as you can see in the video you know there is some sheen being added there so I know the oils were were popping but I did not feel like it gave me a whole lot of detangle, but it did add an extra layer of moisture, which mm -hmm. I really am a huge proponent of the leave-in conditioner for that purpose. So the style that I have today for the video, what I did was I used a sample of the Cream of Nature Pudding Perfection Styling Cream, Curl Enhancing Cream. This is what I use to style my hair and I just did a two strand twist. Now that I really liked how my hair turned out and I didn't even use the entire sample pack. I didn't even use the whole thing. It's still some in there and this is a one ounce uh, sample pack. So I try to use products and I always encourage you guys to use products that are in the same brand at least. But I felt like this leave-in conditioner worked well with this. You know, like I said, my hair um, turned out really good. It feels soft. Um, it still has some definition. So I'm hoping that having that extra layer of the leave-in conditioner helped with that. So all in all, the Cream of Nature Straight From Eden products they are okay i gotta say they're okay i can't knock them and say that they're horrible but you know as you guys know i try a lot of products like a lot of products and so if something really doesn't move me that i would purchase it again for you know if i didn't have any other products to use and i had to go and purchase would I go purchase that product? This in particular, no, I would not purchase it. There's so many products that are available now that you can be a little bit more picky. And this is not a product that I would purchase if I had to purchase products for my hair. I would not, I wouldn't purchase it. But I would continue to use it. It wasn't so bad that um, I would not use it until it was gone. But it's probably going to sit in the back and I'll probably use it once I've used As you see, I have a lot <laughs> to go through. But, you know, this will probably not get used as a reach. I would not reach for this and I definitely would not purchase this. So, I hope you guys appreciate this honest review. Thank you so much to Cream of Nature. And, you know, it's an honest review. I, I want to bring you guys honest reviews and not just bring you the products that I like. And it's funny because typically my hair likes everything. It's, I really don't find a lot of products that my hair doesn't like. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.